Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch and learn. Your tutor is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. We are on form 2, lesson 15. The topic is crop production 3. It deals with nursery uh, practices. And the subtopic is seed, lead, seed rate and depth of planting. On to the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to, number one, explain the factors uh, uh, considered when determining seed rate. And number two, explain the factors influencing the depth of planting. On to the factors considered in determining seed rate. The first one is spacing of crops. If the crop spacing is uh, uh, close or the, the, the closer the, 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 the spacing of the crop, it means that you will use a high rate of seed rate or, or more seeds will be used in a, to cover a given portion of land. Then the second one, we have germination uh, percentage. Uh, if the germination uh, percentage is 100%, uh, percent, it means that few, low, a lower seed rate will be used because each and every seed is viable for germination. And if this percentage of germination or germination potential is low, it means that you will be using a lot of seeds resulting to high rate of seed rate. Then we have the third one, purity of the seed. Uh, when you use pure seeds, it means that you will require a low, uh, uh, a low rate of seed rate. When you use uh, in pure seeds, uh, high seed rates uh, will be used. Then the fourth one, we have number of plants uh, per hole. And therefore, if you use one seed per hole, it means that the seed rate to cover a given portion of land will be low. But if you use two seeds per hole, per planting hole, it means uh, consequently the number of seed lead or the rate of seed lead must also uh, uh, be high. Then we have uh, the factors influencing the depth of planting. The first one, we have the size of the seed. Uh, for instance, if we have a seed, a wheat seed or millet seed, they are small in size compared to maize seed. A wheat seed or a millet seed require a, 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 um, a, a, a higher depth compared to a maize seed because a light seed uh, or a small seed will easily be blown uh, by the wind and therefore it will require a, a higher depth. Uh, when we comes to the type of germination, we have two types of germination. Uh, we have epigeal germination, that is for dicots, and we have the hypogeal germination, that is for monocot. And because epigeal germination, uh, the, uh, normally, uh, the root normally grew downward, it means that the depth of planting for dicot is shallow compared to that one of hypogeal germination. So therefore, hypogeal germination seeds require a high depth when it comes to planting. Then we have the type of the soil. Uh, for a sandy soil, the depth of planting should be deep, while for a clay soil, the depth of planting should be shallow because the, so the clay soil is made up of fine particles and therefore it can uh, hold the seed uh, firmly. Then we have the fourth factor. We have moisture content uh, or, uh, in the soil or of the soil. Uh, for those soils which have a lot of or plenty of moisture, it means that they need a shallow uh, depth. While for those soils that require less amount of moisture, it means that the depth of planting should be uh, deeper. Uh, then we go to the assignment of today's work. The first question will be list four factors that determine correct depth of planting. Uh, I repeat again, list four factors that determine the depth of, correct depth for planting. And the second question is, explain the factors that influence a crop spacing. I repeat again, explain the factors that influence the crop uh, spacing. Uh, for reference, you can refer from secondary agriculture student uh, uh, book two, 
uh, and the publisher is the Kenya Literature Bureau. For more information, if you would like to clarify something from us, uh, from Elim TV, you can reach us through the following contacts. Uh, the first one we have, you can use SMS through the number which is well displayed for you. Uh, you can also use YouTube at Elim TV. Also, you can reach us through Facebook platform at Elim TV. And finally, you can use uh, Twitter. You can tweet us at Elim uh, TV underscore K E. Thank you for joining me in my lesson. And therefore, I wish you the best. Till next lesson. God bless you.